it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission unless it comes to marketing <laughs> keep watching to find out what book we're talking about today so hey i'm kyla denaglio and welcome to kyla's reading day so today we're talking about the book permission marketing <laughs> okay this book is written by seth godin the genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is marketing and business. So I saw this book, come on. The cover, of course I had to pick it up, of course. All right, I was still going through my whole confidence boosting business, let's get it. And so I picked this up and the book was very, very simple. And the whole point of the book is very simple. You need to ask permission before you start contacting people for things okay and it makes me think about sales funnels and how you bring all these people in with your lead magnet on your website if you don't know what i'm talking about google it and then they put in their email address and you can start emailing them hey are you interested in this hey do you like that hey do you like this and the more people that open your emails and look at them and whatever you move down the funnel but the whole point is go back years 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 ago the examples in this book are about yahoo and aol things that are not really prevalent right now and AOL just stopped using their email addresses, right? So old, old examples, but the point is still relevant. So honestly, I would say that this book is the precursor to most online marketing things. I mean, definitely MailChimp, ConvertKit, those kind of things, where you do put customers into a sales funnel and you start to predict what they need and how you can show them that you have value so that they buy from you, right? So the entire point of permission marketing is just that you should have your customers permission before you start to ask them to buy from you before you start to ask them to read your things and to do all the stuff because once you have willing participants it's a lot easier to sell to them so that's what we would call having a warm lead versus a cold lead right if i post this sweatshirt on my instagram right now you might get a couple people who like the picture they're not going to say anything about it if i post this shirt on my you are lawyer podcast page that page is full of lawyers law students people who know me from law school they'll probably say yo where can i buy that shirt <laughs> okay and it's the difference between having a cold lead someone that you just know casually from anywhere and a warm lead right and then if we narrow that down even further to people who are part of my newsletter list not really a plug unless you're interested in lawyer things or you just think i'm cool but if you are on if you receive the you are lawyer newsletters then you are definitely going to be a warm lead clearly you're enjoying the video you're still watching go ahead and hit subscribe so that you can find out what i'm talking about in other videos okay you're used to hearing from me you're used to getting emails about the podcast and things i'm doing and all of that kind of stuff so you'd probably say oh of course the next step would be for her to have a shirt or something like that right so it's a completely different thing but i will say that while reading this book i did have to google is permission marketing still a thing and I found that people aren't still calling it permission marketing right now in 2023 there's all of this legislation and all of these legal acts where you cannot just collect people's data do anything with it right data privacy is an entire new sphere a new department of most law firms most corporations so now there's all these different things right but I have to believe that they were all grown from permission marketing because the whole point of this book is if you have permission to contact someone about specific things, then you'll have a lot more success with selling to them, okay? Very good book. There was a point where Seth Godin told 10 things that you needed and I wrote those down. Find the lifetime value of your new customers. Find methods of dating, right? Are you dealing with someone who wants to be around all the time? Someone who kind of wants to be casual? You need to figure out what kind of customer. Third, change all of your ads to include a call of action. Measure permissions that you achieve, <laughs> assign a person to guard the permissions, decrease work to frequency, all this other stuff, right? So a really important book. And would I reread it? Absolutely. I mean, it's about marketing. Marketing back in 2000 is no less important than marketing in 2023, right? Again, change out the companies AOL and Yahoo, switch out those things for 
you know, chat GBT and Slack, but it, it's all still marketing. It's all still contacting people. And it's all still ways of turning strangers into friends and friends into customers, which is the tagline of this book. So thank you for hanging out with me today as we discuss the book, Permission Marketing, okay? Let me know, are you a business owner? Are you remotely interested in marketing, right? I didn't go to school for marketing. I'm only looking into it now because I wanna start a new business. And I look forward to talking to you about other books I'm reading on Kyla's Reading Day. Thank you.